Popsit here. Thanks for checking out my channel. Make sure to check out Mr. Popsit Live and Mr. Popsit Fishing. Two other channels. It helps the whole brand grow. I appreciate the support. Thanks for popping by. Okay guys, Mr. Popsit here. We have um, a normal presentation. We have some comedones here, blackheads and whiteheads. And you can see here these, when we pull the skin, you can see those clogged pores. Up here is, as well on the forehead is a common place for acne mechanica. Wearing hats can kind of grind in dead skin, it'll clog the pores, and then you get these little inflammatory pustules out of that sometimes. So what we already prepped them here, we're gonna just open some of the pores and then gently use an extractor or the cotton tip applicators. And then we'll come down here in the nose too. So you can see he's got some pretty good ones on there as well. Getting those out is gonna be very helpful because some of these will turn into big inflammatory nodules that can then start to uh, scar. And we don't want to do this and get these out of there before he has bad scar tissue. So thanks to him for sharing. And we're going to get him kind of prepped and ready and, and uh, back in the seat here. And we'll get started. have multiple comedones here. He does have one big inflammatory one. We're going to gently push here. This is a tender one. And we're not going to get too rough on that if it doesn't come out easily. Yeah, he's got some nice... Nice little pockets here. That skin is really tight from the retinoid. If I'm pushing too hard, just let me know. Mm -hmm. You'll feel those little pops. Doing great. That skin being tight, I can really feel that little core pop right through. Very good. Oh, I felt that one. That one pop? Yeah. <laughs> Pressure kind of builds and then it pops right through the pore. Very good. Got a lot of those little, these are just little core plugs there. That could be the beginning of much bigger acne. Mm -hmm. Now you do have one here that's pretty full, but it's drying up. So I don't want to get super rough with that. I do want to make sure this pore is open enough if you have a plug in there. Are you okay with that? Mm -hmm. Little little cut there. There it was. That's all we needed. You did good. That was a lot. Very good. It's like three cores in one. <laughs> And that's because it was about three follicles there. That whole area was inflamed. Mm -hmm. It's good to get that out. So that'll go down way quicker. Did have a couple other small ones here. Felt that pop, mm -hmm. huh? <laughs> that was a pretty good size one too. Same there. If it gets blurry, you can just tap if it does that. Mm. That one too? Yeah. Very good. A little bit more on that one. So now we see when we pull that skin, all those big bumps he had through there are pretty much down. He's got a couple small ones. You can see when I pull there, very small. Not much comes out of those. You do a little push, but I'm gonna let the retinoid do most of those. Our job today is kind of get some of these bigger clusters because these are the ones that can turn into this. And it's such a good example that he has here, a very good example of 
what happens to these if you don't get these out? That big inflammatory pocket there is what can scar. I don't think he's gonna have really any scar from that. It's already peeling and going down. We just emptied that lower part of it. So we'll keep an eye on that. And then all these little offshoots, we don't go through and get every single one. I like to get the big ones and that starts them on the process of healing here. Very good. Let's come over to this other side now. Other cheeks? Yeah. Same thing here. Uh, some inflammatory nodules. Very good. the pop there yeah I can feel it right through the stick too I'm gonna open that one make sure those are one more here little finger squeeze on that one okay it's kind of weird it's yeah, like, it feels weird because <laughs> you can't see anything so yeah. it just feels kind of like just kind of feel the pressure and then yeah. the pop Another reason I have the eye shield on is I have had these that's like pop and hit the eye shield. They've really <laughs> gone right on the eye. <laughs> so it's kind of for protection too because these things can literally pop a little bit. It's going to hit other things too. Yeah, we've hit our MAs, the wall, <laughs> hit my eyes, my face. <laughs> it goes everywhere. I think that was the first one I got there. That was good. So I come back to these big ones. So you can see a little tiny filament, kind of core right at the bottom there. Got that. Same here. These are very sensitive areas. That's why the cotton tip applicators are nice because they're pretty soft for the most part. We do have an extractor that's kind of a metal loop, but that can be sensitive in this area. And sometimes just finger pad squeezes can work really well too. Just a little focused area like that. Very good. Perfect. Get in those cores. So I've told so many patients, you know, the medications will get you where we want you to be eventually. Mm -hmm. But getting these pores cleared manually speeds it up 80 to 90 percent mm -hmm. literally that much faster like i said these little ones we're going to let the uh, retinoid and some of the medications do their job on those okay so we're going to come up here a little bit to some of these ones on the forehead i have a feeling these are going to be pretty dry just from feeling the skin, how the skin tightness. Mm -hmm. And I can always tell when a patient is using their retinoid because you can literally see the tightness on the skin. This is a little loop extractor, a little pressure. Well, I can feel the difference between them. Yeah. Which one do you like better? I like the cotton one more. The, uh, the cotton? Yeah. Yeah, this is a little harder. And this is nice when we have a little bone in the background there. It presses against the skull. Yeah. Um, and it's a little more focused in a loop, but people do say sometimes they, they just feel the pressure a little more. Not super painful, just uncomfortable, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's good. You can see all those little. Very good. Come back and always check on the bigger ones. Okay. 
and neither of these should leave any permanent scar because these are just kind of superficial pressure here not really cutting the skin big time open wide openings or anything like that is the light too bright or that's okay huh? Could see it. <laughs> Move it over this way. Okay. Yeah, we got a lot of these already. Come back to this side a little. You can see he's got quite a few here. You can see all these little pores. You felt it, huh? <laughs> you can like, I can actually feel the pop. Is uh. They've got some pressure behind them for sure. Oh, and there's a little inflammatory. A bit there. And what would you say the pain is? Is it like four or five out of ten, or is it six or seven? Like the un this level of un discomfort, um, not too bad. I mean, it's tolerable. Just after a while, it starts to wear on you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's why I only do so many. A lot of people ask me, why didn't you get everything? Mm -hmm. And because there's a fatigue that happens. Yeah. <laughs> and it's just, you know, it's kind of like a thousand little ant bites. You know, one or two wouldn't be a big deal. But when they all get together, it can start to wear on you. So yeah. that's why I also do a couple sessions usually. Mm -hmm. So I will do like, you know, in a couple weeks, we can do another round if you want. And it's just going to get get us here faster for sure where we want to be mm -hmm. with all the topicals. Okay, and I usually cap it at like 75 to 100. Somebody will count and say exactly how many we did. <laughs> they do it all the time. Uh, yeah. Ask yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. Um, does it help with long hair covering the uh, covering the forehead? forehead? Yeah. Yeah. The uh, you know some especially teenagers will sometimes have excessive oil oily hair, and a lot of oil if the hair is kind of rubbing all over the forehead. Is it possible that that excessive oil could um, you know it's just putting more oil on the forehead, which can mix with dead skin and cause occlusion of the pores it's possible um that it's playing a part is it the main cause most likely no um but i do have some kids they they put a lot of hair product and then it rubs all over too and so hair product together with it that can sometimes cause some issues but it's not the main cause this is is it hurting a little no okay it's uh it's mostly hormones let me just, there's a pore right here I wanted to open. It's just not coming out right there. We're going to get it now. But that's a common question, too. There it is. I knew that was in there. <laughs> that little plug. I think that's pretty good for most of the ones that are going to come out. The little ones that I'm hitting here and they're not, not much is happening. Mm -hmm. That's because the skin is really tight from the retinoids, kind of shiny when you see we pull on it. And that's good. That's what we want. It's going to continue to do its job and um, dry those up and eventually kind of reabsorb a lot of the small ones. Mm -hmm. So that'll be good. Go real slow if you can tolerate them. And let me know if it's, uh, if it's too much pressure. Little tiny pokes here. Yeah, 
And the nose usually is better with a little finger squeeze because we can use the pad of the finger to really kind of regulate our pressure, mm -hmm. that it's nice and even and not too focused, causing pain. This one's drying up, I think, there, yeah. These are pretty dry. I got one there. I don't think we're gonna get too much. These aren't huge, and I don't wanna squeeze super hard on your nose there, but I do wanna see if we can get this one. There's one bigger one right here we can pull it out. I'm gonna try and get under that. There we go. I think we'll do a, a what's called a hybrid squeeze there. <laughs> Sorry, I know that was a little bit of pressure, but that was a big one I wanted to get out for you. Mm. Good. Got a nice big plug there. Just test the bottom here a little bit more. Nope, that's it. It was just kind of dry right there at the bottom. That's the end of it right there. Very good. Okay. I think we did a lot of squeezing for you here. Um, I was going to check on your chin or on the side here. Yeah, so a lot of this is already turning brown. Post-inflammatory hyperpigment. That's looking great. That's exactly what I want to see with our medications. There's mm -hmm. no reason to go in and push on these. They're drying up, going down. Inflammation's going down, and you can see they're even softening up. So... Mm -hmm. That's perfect. These will be way better in just two or three months. They'll be almost gone. So we'll kind of have them back and watch. Um, you can come up here in a sec. So thanks to him for sharing. We did a lot of pushing and squeezing there. It's going to get him ahead of the game so much faster. I really appreciate him sharing his uh, procedure because he had some good, um, good different sizes, but he really had a lot of what's uh, before big inflammatory nodules come. He had one inflammatory nodule here and one that was going away here and a couple on the cheek that are already resolving. All these little clogged pores could have turned into something called acne congloblata, which is like these big inflammatory pus pockets. Um, if it keeps going and progressing, if we try to shut it down, clear the pores, get them on a good retinoid, it should stay that way and, and stay controlled. So we'll follow up with them. We'll do maybe one or two more sessions. It'll be pretty clear. And then we'll give it like six months and show you'll get to see his transformation. It's great to see. Makes him very happy. Always puts a smile on their face. So And mine. <laughs> so thanks for popping by.